join Juliet in the kitchen. And I have to say, this is so up my street. This looks so delicious. Oh, yes. Yeah, can you smell it? Yes. The smell mm. I love. Um, yeah, so delicious. Who doesn't love pastry? Come on. Yeah. And it's just, this is a really easy pastry to do as well. You don't need to, like, rest it or anything. Just mm -hmm. go straight out there and do it so you can get it in your belly all the quicker. Fabulous. Um, That's what I like. Yeah. 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 No messing around there. No, exactly. Yeah. No. So to make the pastry, I've got some plain flour, some cold butter... So if you haven't got a food processor, you just can rub this between your fingertips because okay. you want to basically get um, sort of breadcrumb consistency, first of all. Right. So here we go. Let's make sure I can use it today. So just kind of give it a bit of a pulse to... That will break up the butter into kind of like crumbly consistency. I never have the patience for the pulsing. No, I know, yeah. <laughs> Number five, go. <laughs> <laughs> just get it Make down. it happen, yeah. And then I'm adding um, one egg. Let's just make sure I've got, my, I've got my thing out. There we go. There we go. And then what you want to do is just like bring it together. See, every time I'm on this show, I think I need to get. I've not got a food processor. You've got a food processor? No, no. I've not got one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so easy. I mean, so you're basically just looking for it to kind of clump together towards the edge of the um, the bowl, and as it comes together, just stop, and that's it. So then, what you want to do is just take it out, bring it together into a, a little round. Okay, perfect. Um, and then, literally, I just roll it straight out. Okay. So no big That's, kneading session or No, you don't need to knead it because you want to treat it really gently, flour, and it, uh, for pastry. Obviously, you don't want to over-knead it so mm -hmm. it becomes tough and chewy. So just literally roll it straight out now. So oh, easy. So roll it just to a rough... This is the nice thing about this. It's completely rustic and, um, you know, it, it can be, like, all odd shapes and sort of... Like, when it goes all craggy and stuff, it's more tasty. It's not to supposed to be perfect, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. that always helps me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. We've got, so I'm going to get you two involved as well. Love. So we've got, cool. obviously, the sweet and the savoury. So um, what you want to do first... So you're going to be um, putting the fillings onto the centre okay. and you want to be leaving a border of like a, sort of like about five, six centimetres, okay? Okay. OK? So, first of all, for the savoury one, we will go in with the half the cheese. OK. And fight, then... Fight the, the desire to go, I'm just going to put in an extra bit of cheese. I know, I can't aspire yeah. doing it. Oh, I I've know. I've not gone <laughs> it's, for half it's that. Just That's like... basically the but, whole So bowl. that cheese is going to melt, I need more yes. of it. Yeah. And then just literally arrange your tomatoes in a lovely fashion. So what I've actually done with these tomatoes... I love that you've got, like, the heritage. I'm trying to yeah, mix all the colours Yeah, all in. the colours. So I've actually added... I've um, sliced these up and added some salt to them and left them in a sieve. Uh, so that will just um, draw out some salt. of the... salt. Oh. We were just saying it's that, It's the greatest we? thing, yeah, the and a bit of bread. Combo ever. But we're also talking about does. smoked salt. Smoked oh, salt smoked is such salt. a game-changer yeah, with this. Gorgeous. Smoked salt. Yeah, that's good. But what I've done... The reason why I've done that is that's drawn out some of the moisture. So you can see it's like some excess moisture, so you're not going to get a soggy bottom, you see. Ah, right, now so, I've got soggy um, bottom. Yeah, just pre salt. Um, so just Is that enough, or should I keep just, going? Um, I, you can do a little bit extra. OK. Um, so you can kind of pile it. They will sort of cook down. Um, no, and then extra cheese. Yeah, it does look pretty. It's really no, nicely trying, arranged. Look at that. And then we've got some we fresh go. herbage. OK, what what's this like. basil? Um, we've got a mixture of thyme and uh, oregano, I think, oh, there. Okay. Some pepper. Um, so that's ready to... Um, Fold up, but I'm going to hold you there, Rochelle, because now, Craig, we're going to get yeah. on to the sweet one. OK, you know you're an so... interior designer, Ross, you know that. Well, I'm it's a new, it's a new thing, there we go. <laughs> so, exactly <laughs> the same idea, but even simpler, this one. So, we've got um, some mixed berries here. Um, see, any berries you like. Right. And then what you want to do is just add your vanilla to your berries. Just to... This is vanilla, is it? Yeah, that's your vanilla. So... I, for a moment, there, I went, please. <laughs> we don't need any more That's of the No more stuff. shots. <laughs> going on to the hard stuff, post rose day. OK. Why not? It is a Friday after all. So it's all. going in. Yeah, pop yeah. that in there. Okay. And then we've got um, a little bit of caster sugar. This not is really too exciting. Much. We're doing this on Caster telling. sugar. Wrong yeah. one. Wrong not, it's not too much. It's only that, 30 grams. I've put that on there, is that um, So that, you've just put your... Yeah, your caster sugar. Does that go in as well? Yeah, and then we've also yeah. got some corn flour. Oh, no, you've just done the corn flour, but it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Yeah. doesn't matter. I read ahead. <laughs> This is the thing, the chucking, we're basically just okay. chucking it yeah. all in. OK, chuck it in. So, we've got so, a couple That's of teaspoons of corn in. flour. Yeah, we've got this. <laughs> Can you just keep an eye on me, please, Ron? Yes. And <laughs> she's literally letting you copy I know, her. I know, I know, I know. And then I know, mix but it I'm together. Just... I like to use my hands, but you can use... Yes. Um, I just like to get stuck in there. So that coats all of the fruit. Uh, oh, the corn flour will help that sugar and vanilla just really cling good. to the yeah, fruit. Yeah, it's good. See how it kind of goes a bit cloudy? Yeah. Nice. And that will just kind of cling to the fruit and that will just make the um, juice a little bit thicker so it won't uh, run, yes, run yes, out yes. like that. And then, literally, we just need to pile it in the middle with of our... With our hands? Yeah, pile it on with your hands. Go on. It's a, I think that's the lovely thing about um, cooking and baking, isn't it? It's quite tactile. So I like oh. to start in the middle um, and just kind of build it up 
Mm, sugary and delicious. Good. Yeah. And when you you'll see when you when this bakes, mm. you put it all in. Yeah, putting it all in, pile it up in the middle, and you'll see when it bakes, they do cook down quite a lot. So it looks like oh, yeah, a lot she's of filling. Really yeah. And then this once you've got your, I think so. Feels it's a bit <laughs> Then all we need to do um, is go back to um, the assembly. So egg wash around the um, the border. So you've got some egg wash there, both of you. So just literally brush it very generously oh. all the way around your filling. Around the over the top, or over, just on the edge of the pastry, like this. Oh, right, that juice you. is yum. Yeah, it's delicious, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really is. And then um, you just basically assemble it really loosely. So you want to fold the pastry up over the oh, filling. Hang on, hang on don't. So I like to kind of go from one side to stop. So really be rough with this. You're just literally folding it and pressing and let it, let it crinkle round. If you want to go like the opposite side like that, just kind of pack it all in like that. Well, mine's... Ooh. And then press... Ooh, no. uh, well, yours has been rolled out. Oh, yours has cracked a bit there. Yeah, mine's cracked quite well, a bit. Well, we like you the can cracks, push it right? together. It's all right, it's You rustic. like the cracks. And then brush it with egg wash. Then bake it in the oven for about 40 to 50 minutes until the pastry is lovely and crisp up, you know and what? golden. Um, and then the, the, so the filling has kind of softened down and you're left with... <gasps> Should wow. we go and sit and have, have some? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get have stuck some. in. Gorgeous, wow. crunchy pastry. Mm. Taste it. That, that was really good fun, actually. It was it's really, really fun, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What are you going to try How first? How easy is that? I'm going to try the savour. I feel like I'm are doing like mains and then dessert. I know you don't really need to. Pizza. pizza. Yum. <laughs> yes. Good. Really Just lovely. Just need a glass of rosé mm. now. Don't need to wash it down. Mm. <laughs> Juliet, thank you so much. Thank lovely you. way to finish the week. Brilliant. Going to do that this weekend. Thank you. Brilliant. Great. Delicious. Thank For you. details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from all our chefs, download the free This Morning app. <laughs>